A Tulsa native, Michael C. Turpin was an all-around boy. From winning the science fair for his space project to a member of the Tulsa Figure Skating Club, his innate enthusiasm for life has served him well. After a successful race and service as Oklahoma Attorney General, Turpin became a partner in the law firm of Riggs, Abney, Neal, Turpin, Orbison, and Lewis. Through his public service and interests, his life has been filled with unique friendships and opportunities. With vast interests, he serves on the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, among others, and celebrated the opening of Lyric's Plaza Theater. I think of Mike as, as the quintessential Oklahoman. Uh, he was raised here, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. He was educated in Oklahoma, and he's lived here all his life. And uh, he is kind of the quintessential quintessential Oklahoma story because he was raised uh, by a great family uh, that gave him strong values, strong character, strong support, but not much money. And he had to pretty well uh, make it on his own in that respect. And uh, he took that strong foundation that he got from his family and he worked his way through school and then uh, in his career as First a police advisor and then the district attorney in Muskogee County all the way to attorney general of Oklahoma and finally of course the pinnacle flashpoint show. Uh, he did it all on his own with a lot of help. Politically active, Turpin remains a voice of experience and leadership. Candidates appreciate his perspective and realize the impact of his endorsement. Not limiting his expertise to Oklahoma, Turpin has been instrumental in the support of candidates in the national political arena. He has supported the candidacy of presidents and senators. Turpin is a proven fundraiser and ally for his peers. Ladies and gentlemen, you have no idea how much pleasure it gives me to join you in celebrating the induction of Mike Turpin into the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. I've known Mike for many, many years now, and over those years, he and Susan have always been true and loyal friends to me and to Hillary. When I ran for president, he was our campaign chair in Oklahoma. He helped me share our vision for the future with the people all across the state. He also did a lot to help Hillary. But off the campaign trail, I am very grateful that he was one of the charter members of my Clinton Global Initiative. He has attended every single meeting inspiring action and partnership on any number of pressing issues around the world. But no matter how far his interests range, his heart has always belonged to Oklahoma. Through good times and, and tragedy, whether in office or out, Mike has never turned its, his back on his home state or its people. He worked to improve the lives of people as Attorney General, and now, he does the same thing through his generous philanthropy and community service. You know, I don't know that I ever met anybody who was more persistently, continuously upbeat and enthusiastic as Mike is, than Mike is. I, I just don't think I ever have. You know, when I was first getting to know him and he was always so up, I thought maybe he had swallowed a bottle of uppers or something. Maybe we should give him a prescription for Prozac. But finally, I realized, Mike, your heart's as big as can be, and you produce your own adrenaline when you're doing something good for somebody else. You are a really good man. I congratulate you, and I also congratulate your fellow inductees. But thank you all for your service to Oklahoma and to our nation. Have a good time, my friend. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Mike Turpin married Susan Haugen in a Hawaiian wedding more than 20 years ago. They are the parents of Sean, Patrick, and Sarah, as well as the family dog, JR. Being the father of three extraordinary children has given Mike Turpin the greatest sense of pride and accomplishment. His dedication to his children and their friends is unmatched. His poetry club has made an impression on its members that will last them a lifetime. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch, if neither foes or loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, 
If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Congratulations, Mike. Every second, every minute, every day. Live your life to the fullest. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my high honor to present for induction Michael C. Turpin. I'm inclined to say, <clears throat> it's all good. It's all good. These are the best of times. Uh, my poetry club that you just saw would say that you must hold infinity in the palm of your hand. 17th century poet. You must hold infinity in the palm of your hand. And that's how I feel this evening. It seems to be one of those moments. I'd simply like to think I think a great American patriot, Senator Joe Lieberman. We started off as attorney generals together. It's been a lifelong friendship. I think he's one of the great peacemakers of our time. And I'm very appreciative and very proud that Hadassah and Joe Lieberman came to Oklahoma for this event. Thank you once again to Joe and Hadassah. I love you. I appreciate you, I respect you. The two most important women in my life I want to thank here tonight. One is my mother. Marge is here this evening. And I simply want to take the opportunity. Mother, I love you. Thank you. You're the best. And for those that don't know, my mother, a lot of you do know, but for those that don't know, my mother is what you'd call a human sunrise. She brightens the day of every life she touches. And Frosty and Brent, my brothers, and Bob, who takes care of my mom, thank you, Bob, they know exactly what I'm talking about. She's perpetually upbeat. She believes every morning everybody in this room has a certain amount of God-given energy, and it's your choice as to whether you use that in a positive way or a negative way. And she's instilled in her family, the whole Turpin family, that you use your God-given energy in a positive way. Thank you, Mom. You're the best. I'm glad you're here this evening to share it with all of us. I see that. And my wife, Susan, my wonderful wife, Susan. I like to say, and I mean this very respectfully, she is the CEO of the Turpin household. She makes sure that the Turpin trains run on time, and that's no easy task. Sean's here, Sarah's here, Patrick's here. You know your mom makes sure that the trains run on time. She takes care of everything. I like to say Susan and I have a perfect marriage. I don't try to run her life, and I don't try to run mine either. <laughs> I'm serious, because she takes care of everything. Thank you. I love you. You're the best. It doesn't get any better, folks. And the last thing I want to say, I got this from Kyle. Winston Churchill once said that the greatest form of intoxication is conversation with good friends. If that's true, I'm a very happy guy here tonight because of my family and friends that have come from all over the country to share this evening with me. You honor me with your presence. Thank you very much. <laughs> 